We're three days into camp here at team headquarters in Oakland. This is Warriors training camp fueled by Gatorade. I'm Lawrence Scott and today we are joined by Draymond Green to talk about some of the new coaches on staff and getting the most out of this year's camp. You know, it's great to get back, you know, with the guys, um, get back on the court. You know, obviously coming off a of game seven loss, kind of eager to get back at it and, you know, try to get back to that point. But, you know, the thing about camp is you're starting all the way over from day one, you know, and that's sometimes what the hard thing is to do. However, you know, we have quite, you know, quite the new group. And so you got a lot of fresh, fresh blood, you know, a lot of new energy in here that makes it a lot more exciting, that makes it a lot easier to start over from day one. You know, because you have so many things to work on together it's to try to get back to that point. And you know this team has to grow in order to get there. So, you know, it's been exciting getting back out here. Uh, we got some new coaches in here, some new guys in here. And that's been fun, you know, getting to know each other and being around each other. You know, we've seen some special guests out here. Coach Garland from Michigan State dropping by, part of uh, Coach Izzo's staff. And also seeing you working with Mike Brown, uh, the new Warriors assistant coach. What does he and uh, Coach Green, another uh, Michigan guy, help bring to the table here? Uh, you know, it was great to have Coach Coach Garland in the building. Um, you know, it's always great to have Michigan State family around. And, you know, he hit me this weekend and said, hey, man, I want to catch a couple practices. And, so he came out and saw yesterday and today, and it's always great to have him around. Um, you know, with Coach Brown and Coach Green, like I said, number one, they bring new energy. Um, you know, Mike Brown brings um, prior head coach experience, finals, been to the finals a couple times. It's a head coach, you know, so he, he's been at the bottom, you know, so he's kind of seen it all, and, he's, and he brings that experience to us. Uh, with Willie um, Green, you know, he brings – like Luke, you know, he's not so far removed from the game. He still understands it very well from the player side. And I think that's always great to have around, you know, uh, a smart guy, you know, who's like, played in this league, I think, 13 years. You know, and now he's on the coaching side. You know, he's one of those guys that you can talk to about anything because he still understands it from that perspective. And I think, like I said, I think it's great to have guys like that around. Draymond, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you. Also here on this Thursday, Coach Kerr addressing the media. Let's listen in. First game is just um, just about conditioning. I mean, I've never in the NBA, how long have I been in the NBA? I don't know, long time, almost 30 years. Um, never seen an exhibition game come four days after the start of camp. That's like bizarre. Um, so this is about conditioning and um, just getting to know one another, getting to know our you know, our style. And um, the, the real work will come during that week off after the third exhibition game. As we come back Saturday, Sunday off, we play Tuesday, Thursday. And we've got about seven days before our next game. And that week's gonna be critical. That's when we're gonna put more of our stuff in, start thinking more about rotations. First three games, uh, it's not gonna look pretty, I can tell you that. So far, does it look like does it look like a new team, or does it just look like a couple new pieces? Um, well, I think the um, the practices have gone well, which means it doesn't look like a brand new team. I mean, two years ago here was chaos the first few days. Like I was really worried. Um, so the fact that we have seven or eight returning guys, eight I think, um, means that everybody kind of knows our drills, knows what we're doing. So practices have been smooth and, and fresh because of the new blood that's here. Um, but we've got a long way to go to really incorporate our offense. And, and um, we haven't even put in a sideline side or out of bounds underneath yet. Um, so we got to do some stuff tomorrow just to be semi-ready for Saturday. But um, we got a lot of work ahead. And the tricky thing is we've got to got to pace the team too you know you can't overwork them after two years in a row going into the finals and hopefully making a long playoff run this year uh, it's a balance Steve with Kevin you, know, you guys knew each other a little bit before and I wonder just what's that process been like getting to know him more is it the standard approach for you like you are with any player just letting it kind of evolve organically what's what do you yeah. think well you know um, we, we've had uh, had some good discussions. Bob and I had lunch with him before camp started. Just you know, 
get to know you stuff. And um, you know, now that the practice has started, it's more about getting to know his teammates. And um, just like any other partnership or friendship, it just just takes time. Um, it's not uh, it's not anything you do in particular. It's just a lot of conversation, and when you can when you can have it. Is he kind of the guy you thought he was, or anything new that you learned about um, the way he's wired? No, he's the guy that I thought he was. I mean, I've I've had you know, lots of friends in the league who have worked with him, played with him, uh, coached him, whatever. And um, his reputation preceded him, and he is who he is. Yeah. Is he just basketball-wise? He just blends in with what you do, or is what you do changing a little bit just because he's on the floor? He blends in pretty well with what we already do. As I said, we haven't put in a lot of our offense. Um, but he, you know, he dominates play when he's on the floor. I mean, he, he, he's a dominant offensive player, so which is a great thing. Um, he's a great playmaker, and I think that's what's um, really intriguing about putting him with these guys, um, with Staff and Clay and Draymond. Is you got, you know, Andre, Sean. You got multiple playmakers, um, and if you move the ball, um, we should be able to cut down on turnovers as long as we don't make it about the show and we make it about execution. We should be able to cut back on our turnovers this year. We should be able to get better shots. We should be able to uh, to compete at a, at a high level, but execute at a high level too, which is you have to do uh, in, in June especially. Did you see a Curry Durant pick and roll? Yeah, I think that might, that might come up. A little up. dangerous. Yeah. Might be the regular season already so long, especially for you guys. Um, 30 days of preseason, is that about right? Does it feel too long, too short? Uh, you know, I, I kind of like the idea that's been tossed around the last couple summers to um, start the regular season a little bit earlier, maybe a week early, cut camp down to 21, 22 days, play five exhibition games instead of eight. You know, I kind of like that, um, just so you have fewer back-to-backs during the regular season. But, um, yeah, I mean, a month is, is usually a, a enough time for everybody to get their legs underneath them and the starters to be ready to play, you know, 30 plus minutes. What does your shooting guard spot look like behind play? Last year you had Barbosa. Uh, do you have a guy that you're saying right now is your backup shooting guard? Well, Ian, uh, I would say, is our, is our backup right now. And I think Patrick McCaw factors in there as well. Um, Andre can play some two. Sean can play. You know, um, if Sean plays with Steph, Steph almost becomes the two in many ways. Um, lots of combinations that will work. But uh, yeah, we don't have as much depth there as we did a year ago. But um, I think Patrick's got a real chance to, uh, to to make an impact this year. He's a very impressive young guy. Defensively, with Spo City is strength. Have you seen that, or has it been both sides? Both sides. Yeah, he's a smart player. Knows when to cut. Um, sees the floor, sees the game well, and um, he's um, will fit our our style well. I think last year there were a couple of times when you made comments about the team putting on the show, even though you won some of those games, a lot of games, 73 games. But do you think that what happened in the finals sort of, I guess, sobers guys up in the sense of just focusing on what they have to do when they're out there? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think to be quite frank, um, last year was kind of hard to coach. Uh, the first year was a lot easier to coach the team because we hadn't won anything. It's really easy for me to come in here and say, you know, we're, we're being loose with the ball, that stuff doesn't work. I know, you know, I've been through this. Last year, you know, we're winning every game and we're getting sloppy and I, I come in and I'm like, hey, we're, we're sloppy, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And it's like deaf ears because we're 60 and seven or something, and um, we've won the championship the year before. There was a sense of, um, oh, we got this. Yeah. And I think we did learn um, against OKC and Cleveland that um, if you don't execute, you don't take care of the ball, you can't score in that kind of environment. Uh, you're in some trouble. Does Looney look rusty? Looney? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's been, he's been injured. Um, so much of his, uh, you know, his year year plus that um, he, this really is his rookie season. So 
We're more concerned with him just, um, you know, getting reps, getting, getting scrimmage time, um, and uh, being uh, physically able to get out there and play and withstand the day-to-day -day grind. All right. Is Javale still making his case? Yeah. Javale, um, Javale's been good. Uh, we have two really good days, and uh, wasn't as good today. We had a had a short practice day. We kind of wanted to blow it out, get up and down. Um, so today was harder for anybody to really stand out, but he stood out the first couple of days. And one of the newest Warriors, center Zaza Pachulia, also talking to the press. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely, we should use our experience, we should use your brains uh, more, obviously, instincts, and you know, that's why we need to be on the same page, right? Uh, uh, to read each other without making any calls. And uh, I'm telling you, it's kind of next level, uh, you know, to, for, for the good teams, you know, to play basketball. Obviously, you know, calls, uh, you know, we're going to have some calls, but, you know, if you're on the same page, it's very diff difficult for opponent to, you know, to read what we're doing, like, especially having uh, this many weapons in our team. Everybody can make the plays and, you know, great scores and uh, so, so many things we can do. Uh, you got to take advantage of it. And, you know, if you read it, uh, I'm telling you, we, we're going to be uh, really top two to guard, uh, you know, offensively. But say, we, 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 we need to work on that defensive end too. You know, that's, uh, this team has been in tough fights last couple of years, so we need to uh, at least keep it there. You know, it's, it's very important. It's going to help you to win the championships. What's it, been, what's it been like, you know, having these weapons on the court? Is it kind of how you imagined, to, you know, looking around and, and seeing some of these shooters? I believe in one thing. We're not 100% right now. So, you know, uh, I don't want to say, wow, it's amazing, because I know this, the, we, have, we still have room, room to improve, you know, individually as a team as well. So, uh, you know, so far so good. Uh, obviously looking, you know, looking for better things, you know, looking out to get in a better shape and, uh, in, in, you know, the flow of the game, obviously, the reads, etc. So it's going to be crucial, especially against the good, good teams. Has there been any wow moments, like a play or two that... You know, I know these guys. You know, I play against these guys. I scout it. Uh, I foul them hard. You know, and they, they have uh, scored on me. Like, uh, so I know these guys. So of course, uh, they are great players. It's an exciting moment. But uh, now we are teammates, so we need to make it easier for each other. What do you see from Javale so far in just in a few days? Yeah, I, I, you know, we played together last year, right? And uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, he definitely lost lost some weight. So uh, that, that's the first thing I noticed. But uh, you know, he's uh, he's working hard. Uh, he's he's trying. He's going hard. So uh, and hopefully, he's going to take advantage of it. I know he's had some yeah, you know, the last couple of years he uh, he, he went through the tough uh, injuries and stuff. So he looks good out there. Even though I asked him to play one on one today after the practice, he denied. <laughs> but uh, but he, he looks good. he moves better. You know, he looks better. You know, compared to last year. Have you uh, actually talked to uh, David West? You know, you guys had that altercation. Have you talked about that? Oh at all? man, you know, we're not kids. So, you know. <laughs> This is a business, of course. I mean, you know, we don't need to talk about what happened last year. Uh, you know, I, was, I wasn't expecting a different thing. The first time we saw, we gave him a good hug. You know, we're teammates now. We represent this team and, uh, you know, we're professionals. So uh, we got each other's back now. So two tough guys together, you know, and for this team, that's a good thing. That being said, how do you perceive your role on the team? Do you think that you and David can give a an enforcer or a kind of a toughness that the Warriors may have lacked last year? You know, we got to give everything we have and everything we can do. I'm definitely not trying to get out from my game or do something new, right? And uh, I want to do what I know to do and what I've been doing the last couple of years. I think that's been really successful. I think that we really helped my team and with the previous teams, right? So. And uh, that's why I'm here because coaches and this uh, the, you know, the, the management knows what I can bring for this team. So that's why I'm here. I asked Kevin the other day about just the transition to the Bay Area, sure. driving in, and he, he mentioned the traffic. What are you What are you liking and maybe not liking about the Bay Area so far? So, uh, uh, well, first I would say what I don't like. Uh, my haircut was terrible, by the way. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know uh, good. Uh, place yet <laughs> obviously this is I mean difficult to see you uh, your face right so you know I tried they didn't like it now I gotta try another one I'm gonna keep trying until I find the right uh, uh, right person it's a joke but you know I've been here before obviously uh, you know being in the league for 13 years you know I've been coming here pretty often uh, to live is different obviously uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm not picky, honestly, you know. Yeah, I lived in Atlanta, I lived in Milwaukee, started with Orlando, so I've been north and south. And, uh, uh, you know, as far, as far as this business going well, that's what I care about. And, you know, I'm in a, I think I'm in a perfect situation. I'm in a great group of guys, great group of coaches and organizations. So that's what makes me happy on and off the court. Is there one or two things that you want to work on before the regular season starts? Besides, obviously, you want to get to know the offense and the guys. Sure. For you personally, a couple of things you want to work on? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, speed, right? Uh, the, the speed to keep up with these guys, and uh, uh, I know I'm capable to do it. Uh, just need to keep it up with these guys, you know, for night and basis. Uh, other than that, just the finding the open spots because I know this guy's gonna fight, uh, find me when I'm open and uh, pick and pass probably because I'll be setting a lot of screens with these guys, and uh, these guys getting a lot of uh, you know, attention from the defense, so. Um, I'll find my game. You know, it's uh, you know, it's definitely gonna come, and uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna complement each other. That's the best thing, and we're gonna enjoy playing together. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, but you know, we're gonna we have to make it work. Have you primarily been playing with that kind of expected starting lineup? Uh, you know, in practice. Yeah, I mean, we've been shuffling uh, here and there, uh, playing with different personnel because during the year, uh, you know, it's not gonna be the same, right? You know, so the rotation's gonna might change, and you know. Um, you might end up playing with different guys, so you gotta get to know each other uh, really well. Plus, you know, we have guys who are trying to make the team, you know, they're getting the opportunities as well. We have a couple of veteran guys, so, you know, you don't necessarily need to kill them and stuff. So, just being smart and, uh, you know, uh, get to know each other uh, really, really well. This is the key. When you're in that lineup, I mean, obviously it's so early in camp, but have you already kind of noticed the type of space you might have to, to yeah, operate? Absolutely. I mean, you know. Uh, but it's different when you're going to practice. It's less why exhibition games is going to better show, basically, you know, for the opponent teams what, what they're going to try to do. And, um, but still, you can tell on the, on the, the practice, right? These guys, you know, you leave them wide open. It's uh, you have so many great shooters uh, from outside, KD, Steph, and, uh, and Clay. And, uh, so, they, you know, they'll be hard. Hug uh, all those guys, and uh, you know you gotta take advantage. This is a team sport, right? You know you gotta help each other. You have, we have to help each other get the easy buckets, right? You know, and not necessarily we're gonna be relying on those guys, but you know they need the help from inside as well. And uh, so this is a team sport. We gotta, you know, we gotta complement each other, like I said. All right, on Friday the team heads to Vancouver to get set for Saturday night's preseason game number one against the Toronto Raptors. This is Warriors training camp fueled by Gatorade.